everybody welcome back to my channel um this week we are doing all the saving challenges for the joint saving challenges my own personal savings challenges and also the um sinking funds that are my personal ones as well so we're going to actually start with them just so we can get them out of the way i hope everyone's doing really well i am surprised i'm here filming again um things are happening really well so far how i've planned them so let's get straight into it so we're not wasting too much time before baby girl may wake up so we have um two savings envelopes one for me one for my husband we both get 15 pound um so that's that we're gonna do that now so add 10 and five so in my envelope we now have 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 50, 60, 75. Not bad at all. Uh, this is the wrong tracker. Have I mixed these trackers up? No, it is mine. Why is it wrong? I don't know. Anyway. In 75. Let me count it again really fast, really sorry. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, yeah. It is what it is, guys. It is what it is. I must have counted it wrong last time, or maybe, I don't know. Same for my husband, 15. Now, these are savings for the envelopes that I put money towards, just because 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 30, 40, 50, 55. So they're both growing really, really well. I'm really happy about that. One, five, five. Um, I'm not quite sure. I think I'm going to use his savings for like maybe big purchases for him. Because it just helps me out. Um, my mum is getting £50. As we know, I put £50 towards every month to pay off the debt I have with her. 20 40 50 We now have. These are base, uh, also my placeholders that are on Etsy. They're double-sided. These ones are the pink ones. And we have... Um, is there another one? God knows where that one is. No, it's correct. 500, 750, 850, 900, 950. I did that a bit weird. So let's just ignore that. We now have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100. So 750 to go. She has already received the first half. Um, which is 850, so I only have 850 to go. I've got 100 in here now, so 750 left, guys. Not too long. I've literally had my hair cut yesterday, so I took 20 out and I had 20 left. I'm adding 10, so we have 30. Sorry I'm rushing, but um, my baby girl only sleeps 10 minutes, if that, during the day, so... Um, yeah, I really am on a time limit, unfortunately. New car is getting to 20. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60. 160, that's correct. It's growing nicely, slowly but nicely. 160 is... A deposit, isn't it? It's better than absolutely nothing. So I see it. Business is getting 10. Now, I think I mentioned before that I will be using this for bigger purchases for the business or anything that I find will help enhance the business in some way. Now, I do not have a cr cricket machine. I do not have a silhouette machine. I am missing out on so many things that um, a lot of other budgeters have for their Etsy shop. So... Um, I'm wanting to build up a budget first, or sorry, a buffer, a bump, like a big amount, and then go out and buy everything. If I feel I still want it, because everybody's kind of selling the same stuff. Do you know what I mean? So, 20, 40, 50, 60, 65 pound in there now. Um, so there may even, I may even not do that at all, if that makes any sense. I might just um, let everyone else do that, because 
there's just too many out there with the same but then again you can do so many nice things with it do you know what i mean so i'm, I'm in two minds with it youtube is getting 10 now all we know this is going towards giveaways or anything that has to do with youtube this could also be equipment that i may need etc etc we now have 55 pound in here but mainly i would like to use this for the um thousand subscriber giveaway so let's get me there guys because it will be a massive one honestly you will love it that is uh, that one done now on to the challenges which i'm trying to think um let me do the 252 week challenges so we're gonna do the joint one first which is £43 that I'm putting away for this one. And we have the tracker in here. So, what are we going to do this time, guys? So, we did 43 last time. Should we do 39 and 4? Sounds about right, doesn't it? So 39 and 4. and 4. And what I'm going to do is... I'm going to put 40 into 39. And I'm actually going to put plus one there, but I'm also going to put minus one here. So that's three pound in here. So that makes up for the amount that I'm actually putting away altogether. Now these... Um, boxes are available on my Etsy store you have loads of different patterns of envelopes that you'll get all laminated so reusable you'll also get um, a set of stickers 39 is there um, and also the tracker sheet that you can use and for what's going on so like I said, there's 10% on my start at the moment, so that's the joint. My one was receiving £52. Now, I was going to do £52 there, but I'm not sure. 19, 19 and 33. I might do them too, actually. Um... Twenty, thirty, one, two, three. So this is actually going towards my yeah, I've done the denominations wrong, but that doesn't matter at all. Ten, twenty, thirty. So this is my five and ten challenge. I'm just gonna put that there. And then I want thirty, forty, fifty, two. So we want nineteen. So I'm gonna put nineteen into the or twenty into the nineteen one. And I'm going to basically do exactly the same as I just did. And that's what you guys can do as well. So 19 plus 1. So we know there's a spare pound in this envelope that is clearly belonging to a different envelope. Use some of my pink glitter washi tape. I don't think I've ever done something like this so fast. Da -da -da. And 32 I was doing, wasn't I? Thirty-three, but I've got thirty-two. There you go. Right. I do you know what? I'm just confusing myself now. <laughs> I am doing thirty-three, but obviously I was short of a pound. That's why I did it the way I did on the other one. 
So I'm writing 33 on here. Minus 1. Which all these envelopes will add up to the amount at the end. No, I clearly didn't put a sticker on that one. That's intelligent. I'm guessing that was the most, so I did 33 and 19. Let me mark them off like this. my washi back, put my stickers back and my tracker on top. That is basically the tracker that you're going to be getting when you purchase these boxes from me. I also do the 100 money envelope challenge and I'm not sure if this is in here. I don't think it is, is it? Nope, nope, nope. It must be in this challenge one. Come on. There it is, guys. So. Ten, twenty, thirty. So I'm not counting this. It just goes in there. And also, I don't know what I'm doing with this. And um, this may also go towards something like some sort of bigger purchase. This is my five and ten challenge. And May, I acquire for four weeks, so 10 in the first week, 5 in the second, 10 in the third, 5 in the fourth. I like to do this at the beginning of the month, so I cannot accidentally or come up with an excuse not to do it. So that's May done as well, January, February, March, April, May. Perfect. So that's all the savings challenges done, guys. And also my personal envelopes done for this week, so... Um, and, um, we are also going to be doing, what else are we doing? I cannot remember. I swear there was something else. If there's something else that I've forgotten, I'll come back. I'll probably just <laughs> edit the video. So thank you very much, guys. Um, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you don't want to miss another video, please hit that notification bell. Comment down below and like this video. Thank you very, very much for joining and um, for supporting me. So, yeah. Bye, guys. Hi, guys. Um, it is the next day. Yes, I had to edit the video because I actually remembered. I spoke to my husband. And I said, I swear there was something else I was going to do. So, we talked through it. And, yes, my weekly check-in of my cash envelopes and also the penny challenge that I completely forgot to do. So, for that matter, we now have extra coinage. Um, as you all know, I do the penny challenge as and when. There's no strict time limit to it like people do it weekly or whatever i just if i have money i'll just do it because either way the money's going to go in there at any point anyway so when i do it it doesn't really matter anyway sorry for all this interruption and change of display i cleaned my desk so it does look kind of tidier anyway Um, thank you very much for tuning in um i don't know if i already said that in this video i just started to say it again so we're gonna check in my cash envelopes i don't have that many so um yeah <laughs> once i've done this we are going to restuff my spending as well and do the spend challenge and um, just so you guys know as well in the clip before this clip started is it this clip no it was last video when i gave myself my first big spending money i had to put five pound in here because i didn't have coins i managed to change it into coins and put the two pound in here Luckily, I only, only, only rolled a two on my twist and save challenge as I'm doing the same. Um, I'm doing basically the same spending savings challenge as budget with Ira. A lot of people are doing it and I think it's such a great and minimal kind of savings challenge. Um, you're giving yourself your spending money for that week and you do the challenge straight after. So whatever money you roll or whatever challenge you're doing for that matter. You put that money away and then the rest is yours to spend for that week. I think it's brilliant. It was a fantastic idea from him. So, yeah, I'm doing that as well with my Twist and Save Challenge. So, we will be doing that at the end of this video for week two. So, um, let me see if I can zoom you in. I think we did this before. No, I'm just going to... I'll be back in a sec. 
Hi guys, um, sorry about the lighting as well. I am going to have to spend some money on a bigger ring light. As you can see, this little leg here, I only have a little like tripod -y ring light. So this half of my desk is pretty dark, but this one is pretty bright. As I can see, you can still see what I'm doing and I will talk you through it anyway. So I hope you guys are all doing really well, by the way. Um, right, so um, I did have to use birthday money. So we'll just start by putting that back. So I'm just going to put that back first, which is in, I'm pretty sure it's this folder. Still haven't laminated that. <laughs> oh dear. Birthdays, right. Let me see, is there anything else? I'm pretty sure it's just that, isn't it? Yeah, it's just that. So we have £7 to put back in there, but I'm only going to put the 5 in there. So... Let me just update the tracker. Um, what day is it today? I want to say it's the 5th or 6th. I don't even know. I'm just going to put 5th. <laughs> I don't know what day it is, guys. Minus 30. Sorry, minus 25, because we're putting five back in. So we have five now. Now, this birthdays envelope is also for gifts. Um, I just called it birthdays because I just, I don't know. <laughs> and we're going to just put this change towards the penny challenge just because it's that kind of envelope where, yeah, you just don't need this change in it. So we'll do this at the end of this. So I'm just going to get all these out. This is baby girl's money. I'm pretty sure that's it. Yes. So now I don't have receipts and stuff like that. I'm just going to kind of walk you through what I spent things on if I remember. So I start with the most obvious one as it is on here. Fuel. We had £30 and I still have £30 as I haven't put any in yet. Um, I don't go very far. Um, so still have... 30 so i don't want this pen i'd like a buy roll i'm just gonna use that one my favorite um so no plus no minus um we ended week one with 30 pounds still in now b&m is a very different story um i tend to always spend exactly what we have um only because there may be other things that i see that we may need um, something that you only use once and it's done or you know like um, wash machine disinfectant for example so if i know i have 250 left I'll buy one of those little bottles and do it because we like to maintain our machines. So we had £30 and we spent it all except for 24p. Um, I was going to do a B&M haul, however, my husband was at home. So again, I just didn't feel comfortable doing that. Um, so minus, um, what's that? 24, 76 or 29, 76. And we're left with zero only because we are putting this towards the penny challenge as well might as well um cats spent it all online cat litter and their cat food for the entire month so that's them done um come to my spending money oh no my envelope's breaking got it we have to make a new one. i was going to make new ones anyway so this is a perfect excuse isn't it absolutely love these um i do have a new design for my because i do these saving challenge binders um, which I also do for 500, 750 and 1,000, um, whatever your denomination is. In our case, it's pounds. Um, and they come in quite a few different designs. I keep adding new designs to it as well, to the to my Etsy shop. And I have a nice leopard print one, and I just did one before. So I don't know if you've seen on Instagram, but I feel like making these again in that leopard print because I really like it. So that'll just make me do it. I might actually do that this weekend. What have I got to lose? So... My spending money hat. See, I don't know what to do with this. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to put my notes within my sinking fund. Put the pennies and the coins just towards the penny challenge. So let me just put this in sight. So this is going to go towards that. I'm not sure which envelope. We will see when we get to the end. God knows what. 
and um, so spend we have nothing left um we're not adding anything and we had i'm just going to put minus 25 just because i'm obviously putting them all into the um challenges now amiga um god i bought nappies um i only bought a few nappies though because i think she might be transitioning into the next size up and i don't want to be left with loads of nappies I'd rather just, um, if the next size up is just slightly too big, already put her in as soon as I use the last size, if that makes any sense to you guys. I just don't like wasting stuff. So I just bought one packet of her size now, and I bought one packet of the next size up, and hopefully she'll just transition real nicely into that. If not, then I'll go out and buy another packet. That's not a problem, but I just, I know it's happening soon, so I don't want to bulk buy the way I do wipes. Like, I went into Aldi and I bought 21 packs of wipes, the water wipes that Aldi do, so... Most of that went on that, and then I bought two packs of nappies, which is only like five pounds something. And I also bought her, she had loads of coins, I also bought her a new toy, them stackable ring things. Um, as she's discovering her hands a bit more, like wanting to grab things, and it'll help her maybe to learn how to sit up more properly. She is, she is sitting well, but she's still got that little wobble on, if you know what I mean. So, little wobble head is um, going to be a challenge to get her to sit better. But it will get there. So I bought that. I think that was a five. I bought that. Um, I don't even know when I bought that. Whatever time during this week I bought it. But right now, end of week one, we now have £25 left for the month, which is actually pretty good. So again, I am just going to take this change towards the penny challenge just because. Because this is plenty money for her, so... Nothing, we spent £25, and we are left with £25. So in total, we started the week with 30 60 110 £135 in our envelopes. Um, we added nothing throughout the week, and we are minus 50, minus 79 76 and we are rolling over £55. I hope I did that right, because I've never done this before. Um, I don't even know if you can see it properly. Let me just try and just zoom in a bit more. Yeah, you can see. Zoom out again. <laughs> there you go. So, that's my sheet done. I'm just going to add this back to her envelope. <clears throat> so, that's that. So, that's all my cash envelopes checked in. Um... Right, we're just going to go into, I'm pretty sure it's this envelope. Uh, let me just think. I'm having to think you're spending money, yeah. I wrote it down there for a reason, I just totally like ignored it. So, we are giving ourselves £25 again for start of week two. So that's five. 20 put that in there actually let's just make sure there is 50 in here 20 40 45 50 50 pound there which covers us for week three and four in may which is fantastic i hope i don't um roll is it this binder do you know what i just have no idea what binders i'm going for nowadays right let me just shut this Put my spending money there. So, actually. So, week two, we are going in with fuel. Start £30 because we've rolled it over. B&M is nothing. Um, baby girl, so Amiga. We have £25 left. And spending is also £25. So... That's week two, week one finished and week two started. Uh, the only money I'm adding now is my spending money for the week. So I am just going to shut this book. Absolutely love this book. And now we're going to go to the... I'm getting real nervous. I don't like this. Let me put these back. Get my spending it out. Right. Let's go to the Twist and Save Challenge, which is also on my Etsy store if anyone's interested. Uh, 
Oh God. <laughs> um, blue, ten pound, not bad at all. I can, I can deal with that. I can definitely, definitely deal with that. So we've rolled a blue, and blue is ten pound. I don't know if you can see that in this. Oh, can I? I'm just gonna. Blue is ten pounds, so we are literally just going to check off one blue. Now the good thing about these is because you're gonna when you buy this purchase, this, you get it with an envelope, and you can use a sharpie pen to actually draw your checks or marks, however you want to do it, on the envelope. So you don't have to have this challenge um, laminated or anything. You can just reuse it that way by wiping the envelope clean. And therefore you haven't actually marked the challenge sheet itself. So it's really simple, really great to use like that. And for those that have binders, you can just literally slot your dice in the middle and it's done. So £10, I need to swap this. So let me just... There's an envelope here that actually has... Yes, yeah, see, I can use... I can just swap this 20 for two 10s. 10 20 and put this 20 into this back into this envelope so therefore i am left with 15 pounds spending money for week two i'm really gonna have to redo this so that's that done and i'm going to put that into this challenge envelope and i'm going to put it at the back so when i come back to it as well I can just straight away mark on this. I know I could put the dice in the envelope, but I'd rather just put it there. Just It's just right there then, isn't it? That's that. So I've for week two, we've just done all our savings challenges, which we did yesterday. <laughs> and then I couldn't remember what the hell I forgot to do, um, which is the penny challenge and um, my cash envelope check-in for week one. So we've done that. We've done my spending money and we've done the twist and save challenge. And now we're going to fill the penny challenge oh actually where am i going to put this fiver do you know what i'm going to actually use my new binder that i won and i am going to hmm. i don't know i feel like putting it into happy mail because i don't really buy much on etsy at all so it'd be nice to start putting some in here so I can actually support other businesses um, I love all the things everyone's doing literally everything I see it's just like oh my god that's such a good idea and you know so nice I want that but I just don't really let myself um, afford it if that makes any sense at all even though I have my own spending money I because I got a newborn I do try and go out a lot as in going to a Costa for coffee just to see a friend because I don't do well I'm not saying I, I don't I'm not saying I'm not doing well mentally my point is just, I need to push myself to go out, if that makes any sense. I feel demotivated. I am on my own when it comes to taking care of a little one while my husband is at work. So I'm alone at home a lot. So I need to push myself to either make effort to meet a friend or if they suggest, I need to make effort to just say, yes, I'm coming. So that money is more for that reason, instead of spending it literally on something I want, if that makes sense. Um, So it's not that I don't want to. Um, support small businesses Jesus I'm not like that I would love to buy something off everybody on YouTube because honestly everybody's so amazing with all the ideas they're coming up with love it but yeah it's just um, I have to prioritise my own um, mental health in that sense because yeah I don't just have um, you know loads of family to just that can come around every day or I can go see I just don't have that so so yeah, that's my reasoning. <laughs> so that £5 is going into Happy Mail Envelope so I can um, support other small businesses and see what I like. So yeah. So the penny challenge. So this is what we had left from the cash envelopes and this is what we accumulated throughout um, last month and this week from the cash envelopes change-wise. This includes my spending and all the other cash envelopes. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, so ten pound left. Excuse me. 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 12, 12, 50, 60, 70, 73, 12, 73, 12, 73, so 
1273 is what we had from last month and this week and then we're just adding 1373 1375 14 15 15 23 guys 15 23 guys now let me just go and get my husband's phone real quick as calculator 15 23 i said didn't i right be back in a second Hi guys, instead of my husband's uh, phone, I actually remember they have my tablet. So, we have 1523, um, and I have decided, I changed everything, I took it all off, and I've actually, since last video, decided to just do the penny challenge backwards, which makes it easier, and may seem like we might get through it quicker as well. So, 1523, so our next number to take off is 342, minus 342, 11.81 left. Minus 341. Got 840 left. Minus 340. Leaves us with exactly £5. Minus 339. Which leaves us with £1.61. So we're going to mark that off as well. And that's right there. Gonna mark these off again because they looks like it hand dried properly before I shut it. So doing progress, doing progress. So get rid of that. Penny challenge binder is back here. So, how am I going to change this? I'm just think, did I have... See, I don't mind changing it for my spending, because I can just go, yeah, see, I've got £15 exactly here. So, what I'm going to do is put £15.23, which is what we have, into here. And I can just go to the post office and change this when I'm out, as I'm out tomorrow. So, I can do it tomorrow morning, it's no problem. It saves me faffing about with changing here, because... Um, you guys know how it is. It can it can break your envelopes real fast. So, um, so yeah. And I'm not actually counting this, but I was going to see if I can maybe change a few more coins while I've got the coins here. It's amazing how quick the penny challenge actually um, accumulates. To be fair, you know, just doing a change. It's crazy. I couldn't live without doing it now. Two. So that's two pounds. I'm going to take two pound coin. One, two, three, four, five. So that's one pound. 40, 50. Yep, that's one pound. And that's five P. Two fives for ten p. Perfect. So if you keep doing that, guys, you might as well. You know, if you're gonna accumulate loads of change anyway, and if you've got spending money or something, and you can then change it, do it that way, and then you can't go wrong. That's my five for my spending, and I just thought, shit, what's that? <laughs> so I'm gonna put all the coins in here because then I know they're all mine to put to the post office. So it should all be ten pound. Exactly. Really gonna have to invest in better lighting, guys. I apologise. It is actually absolutely appalling, considering I've been on here for over a year. So, put the dice back to the twist and save. There you go. That's all that done. Thank you very, very much, guys, for watching. Um, I appreciate anyone who would like to subscribe to my channel if you're interested in budgeting, etc. Um, just one last thing as well. I do have these uh, made-up money envelope wallets in loads of different designs. Um, I can't remember how many there is. 32 or something like that. Um, loads of different designs. Colours even. Um, that... If anyone is interested in having these, they're all made up, all ready to use and, you know, put your money in. Um, 
this is a spare lot that I have when I was doing them made up you are more than welcome to have them for free if you just pay postage I can't imagine postage being more than two pound so um DM me on Instagram if you would like these they're all unused completely unused it's literally put your money in it shut it stick it whatever you want to do with it um, and then you can write on the front how much you've put in the envelope so yeah if you're interested in these paper money envelopes then just DM me you can have them for free as long as you just pay postage um, I don't know, one ninety-five, two pound. I reckon, and then I can send it first class as well. So, and that covers as well the envelope. I'll send it in. So yeah, um, just DM me, like I said on Instagram. Um, subscribe, like, and comment. And yeah, this week's gone really well. The savings challenges that I did yesterday went really well, and the check-in, yeah, just went really well. I'm surprised. I'm I'm definitely enjoying it. So we did week one of stuffing. And this week too, we did the savings challenges and my sinking funds and the check-in close out of week one and start of week two. So yeah, I'm really proud. I think it's going really, really well. So thank you very much. And I will see you next week for week, well, not week two, but week three, second cash stuffing of May. See you later, guys. Thank you. Bye.